This is uh, it's going to be a nursing home. Yeah. Uh, just been doing the electrics in it. Um, it's just coming to an end now though, so just doing the last finishing touches. Although it doesn't look like it just yet. <laughs> how many hours? It's amazing uh, how quick they'll just do the last bit. So how many hours a week do you work? Uh, well, set off from Blackpool at half six and uh, get home say about five o'clock. So it's ten hours. That's a far away from this to the FA Cup, isn't it? Yeah, it is, yeah. Miles away, yeah. Just as Fleetwood Town defender Phil Robinson's work, the town itself has traditionally been miles away from the FA Cup. It's a non-league club based in a town that for many years lived off and died at sea. The sea is literally everywhere around and inside Fleetwood. Yet it's already been decades since the Icelandic Cod War put the town's fishing industry to rest. Now, the only notable local business linked with the glorious past is the Fisherman's Friend Factory. Chris Garrett has seen it all. He's spent his entire life here and is now Community Development Officer in Fleetwood Town FC. My dad was a fisherman, uh, as many obviously people in the town, that was the industry, was fishing. Uh, we used to stand along the prom uh, watching the, uh, the trawler boats going out and coming back in again, all the seagulls flying around the back of it. It was a, a quite a, a rough upbringing as well because obviously the fishermen when they used to come in uh, they'd be out for at sea for 14 days, they'd be in for three days and two and a half days of them would be spent in the boozer, you know, and <laughs> having a good time spending all their hard earned money and everything and so there was plenty of trouble going on and, you know, and uh, so it was, uh, it was booming. My daddy, uh, he fished up to a certain uh, point and obviously when the Icelandic Cod War broke out and, that, and uh, the industry was obviously uh, uh, failing, he decided to go and work on the ICA plant uh, which was a chemical plant the ICI plant round here actually failed as well and obviously it was getting a, uh, a bit of a depressing time at uh, in Fleetwood. As a tribute to the town's heritage the club has chosen an anchor as their crest and that's not the only link to the sea. The stand has been built and named the memorial stand in memory of all the people who lost their lives at sea. I used to be a pro for Blackpool yeah. um, you know, I was there for four years and then didn't get my contract renewed and then just went to college playing semi-pro and I don't really, it doesn't bother me, I, I enjoy my football and I do this and it means more for Fleetwood to win than it would do for Blackpool to win a game like that. So everyone here knows to play uh, football, yeah? No, everybody knows what's happening. No, I don't know, no? No? No. Uh, oh, yeah. The place you get for you to go to the Yeah. Yeah, playing hard. That's what I mean. What do you work at? You fucking have to carry in some money, mate, aren't you? Yeah. I think I'm starting. Right. Hope so, anyway. Yeah. I'll give 4,000, 5,000. What time do you kick out? 2 o'clock. Uh, the highlights are on ITV. Oh, yeah. So he's going to score on Saturday, what? Lots of pieces of the camera come from. James Brown, bro. He's a diehard fan. Every day. I go uh, home and away everywhere, mate. You do? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Home and away, wherever. <laughs> Been to Europe. Uh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> What's going on? Good day. Good day. Good day. To the locals, Phil Robinson is far more than an electrician. He's part of the town's rebirth for the local football club has been brought to life and with it a community that has been fighting against the current for decades. In the past four years, Fleetwood Town has managed three promotions and now play only two divisions below the league, the club's highest position ever. The transformation started when this man, Andy Pilly, took over as chairman in February 2004. Saturday's match means everything uh, in as much as it's uh, undoubtedly the biggest game in the club's history. Uh, the club's progressed an awful lot over the last few years and uh, to see a full house um, in such a crucial game is uh, very, very exciting. The football club is something they can all be proud of and they can all be part of and uh, it's some welcome good news for the town. Well, this is our play of the year last year. I see it, the, the supporters are the official or That was official after the manager. Yeah, player of the year, and then that was the uh, hardest player. Hardest <laughs> player. Why do you think you got it? Why? I want sympathy, Val, I think, because it brought me home. 
when I was younger, I would have been a bit nervous, but as you get older, you don't really, you just take it as any other game. Is that good or bad? I suppose it's, it's good. So have you slept well? Yeah, yeah. No, uh, I've been working on it all week, so I'll come Friday, man. Yeah. <laughs> Straight to sleep. And no Friday drinks? No, no, I just stayed and watched TV last night. When the players have gone out, okay, go in and get yourself a drink and take your head off. Alright? Alright, yeah. lads, hey, from the start, come on, hey, win the fucking game, come on! Boys! together. Totally reunited with the football. I mean, look around. Fantastic. Fun Robbo! Shit with <laughs> oh, I've been enjoying tonight and I spend the rest of my day in, so recovering Sunday and recovering Monday and back to work Tuesday.